I like to give a talk on uh, medicine adherence or drug adherence in patients with type 2 diabetes. We see a lot of patients with poor glycemic control. In India, only uh, up to 30% of the patients with the diabetes have a good HbA1c control of less than 7%. Whatever drug we use, uh, whatever insulin we use, most of the patients do not get under control. And the important uh, reason behind this is the non adherence to medicines with most of our patients. Our people think that insulin is a dangerous drug, but it is a waste uh, treatment. They do not understand that it is a waste treatment. So most of the patients give their oral drugs because of their uh, work schedule and uh, people do not take proper units of insulin which we suggest they, because of the fear of hypoglycemia and okay. So these problems can be tackled only by proper patient education. Each and every visit the patient comes to our clinic should be used as a chance to give them a patient education. So we have patient education programs which is held once in every week in our clinic. lifestyle modification in diabetes. So, the first and foremost treatment option is lifestyle modification which includes both exercise and uh, dietary modification. We advise all the patients to go for 45 minutes brisk walking at least 5 days in a week and uh, to do other exercise like uh, swimming, jogging, cycling or whatever exercise which they can prefer. And those patients who have Osteoarthritis of these can undergo upper body exercise for good place in the country. Generally, people will tell that when we uh, ask them to go for walking, they tell that they have knee pain. So, upper body exercise can be an alternative to walking, which can bring the place in the control to a good level. Apart from this, when considering diet, we are suggest a balanced diet with uh, less carbohydrate and more of protein and fat, and we have to advise them to uh, avoid. Uh, refined carbohydrates for better place in the country. I'd like to give a talk on uh, family and diabetes. So, as we all know, diabetes runs in families. So, but it is a uh, not true always. Nowadays, most of the patients get diabetes without being, uh, without having any patients with diabetes in their family. So, as far as type 1 diabetes is concerned, it is an autoimmune disease most probably and uh, may run in families in some, some of the families and uh, uh, considering children with type 1 diabetes who are twin, the chance of uh, the second twin getting type 1 diabetes is uh, only 50 percentage but considering type 2 diabetes the chance of uh, the family members are progeny getting diabetes is uh, uh, 3 in 4 so the chance of uh, family history being in a family with the type 2 diabetes uh, is more than compared with of uh, type 1 diabetes So diabetes is common in both the genders, both male and female. Nowadays more, among, more number of females are getting diabetes. The speciality with uh, women and diabetes is nothing but women lose their protective cardiovascular effect after they become diabetic. So generally uh, women who are non-diabetic do not develop cardiovascular disease until the age of menopause. But, uh, Patients with uh, diabetes who develop uh, diabetes at the age of 30 or 35 lose their cardiovascular protective effect of estrogens before they attain the period of menopause because of diabetes. So more number of patients, uh, that is particularly women patients with the diabetes suffer from cardiovascular disease like myocardial infarction, angina, etc. at younger age. 
And one more thing with the woman and diabetes is the incidence of gestational diabetes which the woman come across during the period of gestation. I'd like to give a talk on how to prevent diabetes complications. Long-standing type 2 diabetes can present with a lot of microvascular and macrovascular complications. The microvascular complications include diabetic retinopathy, nephropathy and neuropathy. And macrovascular complications include peripheral vascular disease, cardiovascular disease and cerebrovascular diseases. So ultimately a good glycemic control from the beginning can prevent the onset of these complications. We see a lot of patients coming with complications like diabetic retinopathy and nephropathy on the day one of detection of diabetes. That is because they go undetected with the diabetes for a long time and they present with complications of diabetes. But when we catch these patients early by doing a routine screening or health checkup or camps, we, we have a chance to uh, avoid these complications in future. So early aggressive therapy is more important in reducing these complications. When the patient has poor glycemic control during the first few years of diabetes, it, sleep, it leads to the bad glycemic memory and which goes on uh, carried for over a period of long time and results in complications of diabetes.